The announcement of Ghost of Yote, the sequel to the widely acclaimed Ghost of Tsushima, introduced a new chapter in the series with a female protagonist named Atsu. Initially, like many fans, I was both surprised and even disappointed that this new game would not feature Jin Sakai, the samurai warrior who captivated audience in the first game. Jin's journey, his transformation into the ghost of Tsushima, was a deeply emotional and personal story of sacrifice and honor, and I, like many others, was eager to see where his chapter would go next. When Sucker Punch Productions revealed the ghost of Yote would not continue Jin's story directly, I found myself unsure about this new direction. However, after some reflection I grew to appreciate the creative decision and the potential of the new protagonist in the same world. The character of Jin Sakai was a pivotal to Ghost of Tsushima's success. His internal struggles balancing the rigid samurai code with the necessity of the guerrilla tactics created a rich complex narrative that resonated with many players, myself included. Jin wasn't just a warrior, he embodied a deep cultural and personal conflict about honor, family and duty. The game brilliantly portrayed his transformation into the ghost, a figure willing to forsake traditional norms to save his homeland. When Ghost of Yote was announced, my initial reaction was one of a surprise, tinged with a disappointment. I, like many fans, had hoped for a continuation of Jin's journey or, at very least, a story that delved deeper into his legacy. It felt as though Ghost of Tsushima had left room for more development in Jin's story. Could he reconcile his identity as the ghost with his duties as a samurai? Was lasting impact did his action have on Tsushima? They were the questions that I was eager to see answered. The announcement of Ghost Yote seemed to sidestep these questions in favor of new character and setting. And this shift initially felt like a detour from what made an original game so engaging. The idea of Jin being replaced or even sidelined felt almost like a betrayal of the emotional investment I had in this character. However, as I gave more thought to Sucker Punch's decision, I began to see the potential in this creative choice. It became clear that Ghost of Yote wasn't about erasing Jin's legacy, but rather about expanding the universe of Ghost series. The developers explained that they wanted to explore the new region of Japan, especially around Mount Yote, and a new time period, early 17th century Japan, allowing for a fresh narrative that still carries the core theme of the original. By focusing on Atsu, a female samurai, Sakur Punch had the opportunity to delve into different historical and cultural aspects while maintaining the series' emphasis on honor, sacrifice, and resistance. A large part of what made Ghost of Tsushima so compelling was its exploration and moral complexity, particularly in the context of war and survival. These themes are not exclusive to Jin Sakai. Atsu's story, though different, promises to offer a new perspective on these same ideas, perhaps showing us another version of what it means to be the Ghost, an unorthodox warrior fighting for justice, a world that may not recognize her sacrifices. The developers themselves explained that they wanted to build on a ghost concept not as a singular identity tied to one person, but as a larger legacy. In this light, Ghost of Yote could be seen not as a rejection of Jin's story, but as a continuation of the themes he embodied. Over the time, the idea of a new protagonist grew on me. Atsu, like Jin, carries the burden of being ghost, but her experience as a female samurai in a partial society brings an entirely new dimension to the narrative. The Ghost series can now explore themes of gender and societal expectations, which were not central in Jin's story, but are equally important in a historical context. Female samurai, though rare, did exist in Japan, and their stories have often been overlooked in historical accounts. Though Atsu Ghost of Yote has a potential to offer a fresh take on the samurai narrative while still remaining true to the spirit of the original. The inclusion of Erika Ishii as the voice actor for Atsu adds another layer to the game. Ishii, who has previously voiced characters like Valkyrie in Apex Legends, brings a unique energy and nuance to her roles. Her involvement has also been a point of contention for some critics. As a vocal advocate for LGBTQ rights and a gender-fluid individual, 
Her casting has been criticized by those who view Ghost of Yote as a part of so-called woke agenda. By my opinion, Asian casting makes sense. Her experience and commitment to representing marginalized voices only add depth to a game that seeks to push boundaries. Not just in terms of the gameplay, but also storytelling and character development. The backlash against Ghost of Yote is a part of the broader trend in media, whereas the inclusion of the diverse characters, whether they be women, people of color, or LGBTQ individuals, is often met with resistance by a vocal minority of fans. This subset of gamers tends to criticize such moves as pandering to political correctness or prioritizing representation over substance. However, as someone who values both immersive storytelling and progress, I, I see the introduction of Atsu as a positive step forward. As signals, it signals that the gaming industry is evolving, moving beyond traditional gender roles and exploring new ways to telling of stories. The idea that includes a female protagonist somehow detracts from the experience of the game is outdated. In the case of Ghost of Yote, the decision to focus on Atsu does not diminish Jin Sakai's legacy. Rather, it even expands this narrative universe, offering new opportunity for exploration and depth. Just as an Assassin's Creed introduced multiple protagonists over the years without losing its identity, Ghost of Yote has the potential to enrich the world established in the first game while offering something new. In conclusion, while I was initially disappointed that Shin Sakai would not return as the protagonist in Ghost of Yote, I've come to appreciate the decision to introduce a new character and narrative. Sucker Punch's willingness to take risks and explore new stories with Ghost's universe is admirable. The inclusion of Atsu as the new protagonist opens the door for fresh perspectives and deeper thematic exploration. Ultimately, I'm excited to see where this new chapter will lead, and I have confidence that Ghost of Yote will continue the legacy of Ghost of Tsushima in a meaningful and compelling ways. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I see you guys all and have a wonderful day. We are beyond the edge of Japan. People come north to disappear. But you... You are hunting. And now, every ronin here is after you. Still think you're the hunter? Mm-hmm.